power topping on a mill. In this video I am going to demonstrate the proper techniques to power tap on a milling machine. We are going to assume that you already have your hole pre-drilled to the proper size for tapping and also chamfered. Before we get started please take a moment to like and subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out. Okay let's get started right now. Okay, the first problem that we're going to run into, this is a hand tap, not a machine tap. We need to get a machine tap for this operation. Before we get started, let's agree on a couple of terms. Hand tap is a tap that's designed to be cut by hand, and a machine tap is a tap that is designed to be cut under power. Let's take a look at some of the chip formations of different style taps. Let's start on the left side and move to the right spiral point tap or gun tap or gun point tap. This tap will produce a chip that is formed and pushed down through the center. This tap is best used for through holes. Next we have a form tap. This tap is a fluteless tap so therefore it doesn't create any chips. Spiral flute tap is a tap that pushes the chips towards the top which is preferred in blind hole tapping. Great flute hand tap is best used in hand powered tapping operations. So what we got here is the difference. This is a gun tap. This is going to push the chips forward. This is a hand tap. This won't machine very well. You can in a pinch but there's a good chance of breaking. And with this demo I don't want to break it. So I'll put this guy into here. Now, in some cases, this is a self-tightening chuck. There is a key to go in here to turn this. These guys will slip when tapping in a lot of cases. So we want to be careful. And we also don't want to be spinning very fast. We want to spin at a low RPM, let it coast to a stop, and then let it come up. Also, another problem that we run into is this guy. If we're pulling this guy down, and this guy's up here, it'll actually stop and catch here and you could snap a fine tap really easily because it's still trying to pull down but the machine's saying no I won't let you because this is stopped so you want to have this all the way down to the bottom when you're tapping a hole okay so I want to use some tapping oil this is what we're using for our tapping oil just put a little bit in a little bit in the hole and it'll be fine don't need a lot more than that we want to make sure that we're in low Spin forward in the forward cutting direction. Go slower. Make sure your lock is released here. You can go slower if you want to. And then just pull down. Fingertips on here. Hand on the off button. Pull down. Let it go down. Stop. Let it coast. I'm all the way through the block. Check the side here. All the way through the block. Okay, spin it in reverse. Now I want to keep this going up at the same feed rate because I don't want it to spring up because on a finer thread it can damage the thread. Very simple. So what happens when the tap spins in the chuck? Okay, so what we have here is we have a chuck that's unspun or loosened. Okay. You don't want to put it super tight with a keyed chuck, but these non-keyed chucks, normally they're really good, but the ones we have, these are awful chucks. They're okay for drilling, but not good for tapping. So what happened is it came loose. Not a problem. So what I would normally do is get a tap handle and break it free to make sure that it's not free, but I want to start back in the exact same hole. So what I'm going to do with this one is I'm just going to go from the same start position, same position and just power feed it down again. There's lots of oil on here, so I'm not worried about it breaking or anything. So release this guy. Oh, put this guy back into gear. Tighten it up. Now you don't want to slam forward into reverse. Now keep in mind, this is not tool steel, this is mild steel, and that's a new tap, so I knew this thing would cut like a knife through butter. If it was an older tap, or it was into tool steel, 
I would probably not even bother with this. I would have just hand tapped it the rest of the way. But since I know the material soft, I'm relatively safe that it won't break. Well, I'm glad to see that you enjoyed the video. If you have any comments, please leave them in the comment section below. I'm sure there's going to be quite a few. If you want to see other great videos, check out my YouTube channel, Shop and Math. Also, please take a moment to like and subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out. Thank you for watching the video and have a great night.